I'm suing Katie Paulson with, you know, without a crystal ball. I mean, she has been the mouthpiece for a family member uh, in the articles that were written and information sent. And I have the screenshots of a lot of these messages that Katie has engaged in. Um, And so I'm suing her. Katie, I'm suing you. You know that, right? So you going on there and deleting, you know, your Twitter and and, you know, then putting it back up and then saying I can delete evidence if I want to, as long as I keep it stored, you know, whatever you have now been served, which you have turned over to your attorney. That you are to preserve all evidence pertaining to every article that you have written about us. And I'm going to prove in every one of them how you have lied, stretched the truth, and just out and out with just reckless disregard for me and my family. So stop playing the victim on your 46,000 follower bullshit Instagram account. You are not press. You are not legitimate journalism. You are someone who sits at home, who has no life, who tries to literally tear down anyone in this world who has done an ounce better than you. And that wouldn't take much. I could go to the corner and back and accomplish more than what you've accomplished. Hello, my gorgeous people. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. As you guys just heard, it is true. Todd Chrisley is, in fact, suing Miss Katie Joy aka without a crystal ball. Now at the time of making this video there has not been any documents uploaded to Pacer but that is something that's being checked on a regular basis. They should be up by tomorrow I would assume. So that is something we'll keep an eye on and as soon as they do go up you guys know we will definitely be talking about it. With that being said the news of Todd Chrisley suing Katie Joy has spread like a wildfire all over social media and Katie Joy's attorney has received the paperwork. She put this over on her Twitter stating, one thing I know to be true about Lindsay Chrisley is that she doesn't need anyone to be her mouthpiece. She has two podcasts and a large following. If she needs to say something, she says it. She has never relied on me to speak for her. She's a strong woman who can stand on her own. She's a wonderful friend with a kind heart and incredibly loyal. She's been through a lot the past few years, and right now she's going through a divorce. So I'm going to go back to being there for my friend and let my attorneys deal with the rest. As you guys can see, Katie Joy does not seem to be bothered by any of this. And honestly, that's a little concerning. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely would not want to be in a defamation lawsuit especially after just getting out of one but at this point it's starting to look like a normal routine for katie one thing we do know is when it comes to defamation lawsuits they're really hard to win and maybe that's why katie joy isn't more concerned than she is but honestly it doesn't matter if she wins the lawsuit or she doesn't win because at the end of the day the thing that's really getting messed up here is her reputation. She has continuously tried to blame the anti-KJ community for the reason why her reputation is so bad. But what about all of these defamation lawsuits, Katie? Can we talk about that? At the end of the day, Katie Joy cannot blame anyone but herself for the reason why she continues to get in these situations. And that is so beyond obvious because at this point, she has had multiple different defamation lawsuits against her and only her. I'm not the only one who's noticed these things either. It seems that here later Lately, a lot of Katie Joy's supporters have refused to support her behavior. A couple of days ago, she posted this over on her YouTube channel, basically just reaching out and asking for support on Twitter. She stated, my Twitter currently is all about investigating the harassment and stalking that my family has gone through. I've been working hard to identify specific people in order to take legal action. She ends this post by saying it's been really hard for her emotionally. And then at the end of this, she asked people to help support her so that she can reach 10k on Twitter. In my personal opinion, this felt very manipulative. As a content creator, it is perfectly normal to have goals and milestones that you want to hit, but I would never take this information to my supporters or make them feel like they need to be sorry for me because I haven't hit my goal yet. Not only does this make you look extremely ungrateful for what you already have, but it speaks a lot about a person's character. And I think other people felt this way too because the response she got from this post isn't exactly what she intended. One person wrote, well, let's see, Katie, you put out personal information, locations near you, what you do, and then you want to claim you're being targeted. And if you are, then why don't you call the police? You are not an investigator, nor can you figure it out, but you sure can point fingers. You trash talk 
everyone, but then cry wolf when the tables are turned. You are your own worst enemy. Get real. And asking for everyone to join there is just a way for you to talk smack and gain more followers there because you're losing subs by the minute here. You're going to lose it all if you keep on the train wreck you're on. Another comment said, why? You block everyone that tries to talk to you. You only want fake people that send you heart. Then we have this reply that says, no, thank you. Already heard what you're all about. And this isn't even the half of it, you guys. There was so many different comments from people basically just saying that they refused to support her because of her own behavior. And the negative comments definitely outweighed the positive ones on this one, you guys, which is really sad. But at the end of the day, it just proves my point that she has no one else to blame for the reason why she is where she is and her reputation is so crap but herself. So that's all I got for this update, you guys, but we will definitely be continuing to follow this. So if you want to stay in the loop and you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so and tapping the bell for post notifications. That way you are notified every single time I upload. I appreciate you guys too. The moon and stars and until the next time. Mwah. Bye.